Yes, guys, and y'all know how we do it, man. We get to, you know, bring um, different celebrities and people who love reggae, who do reggae, who are about reggae, because this is Vibes Yard. Vibes Connect. So today in studio, my guest is going to be joining me virtually via Skype, all the way from Jamaica. I'm like, if you like it fresh and clean, you definitely know this babe because she's fine, she's fire, she's fresh, and she's her music is super clean. That's what I can say. She goes by the name Jazz Ellis, and today we get to hang on her up close and personal on Vibes Yard. Hi. Hey, Jazz. Hi. Thanks for <laughs> I'm a big big fan of yours like before i got to know oh, you, you i knew your song fresh and clear i was like hey who's this babe killing this job yo you <laughs> are super dope i'm super humbled to have you on the show today yeah. mad love from kenya really exciting mm -hmm. well i have all of love for kenya you know i was looking forward to visiting sometime this year mm -hmm. but you know with everything going on and yes and COVID, but i'm really excited to be here with you Mm -hmm. Don't worry, when you come to Kenya, we'll be waiting for you in studio physically. But so far, we do appreciate you taking your time to do this with us. But, you know, just um, to start off, um, Jazz, you know, you're from a Christian background. Your dad used to, is, actually, your dad is a gospel musician. So how has it been, you know, for you mm -hmm. choosing to do the kind of music that you're doing and your dad is a gospel musician? Like, what sort of a conversation do you have with him? <laughs> You know, my dad uh -huh. is pretty cool, you know, my dad is pretty cool. So mm -hmm. he, he just wants, he just supports me doing music. Mm -hmm. That's it. And once I'm happy and he knows my heart, he knows me as a person. Network problems. <laughs> but just yeah, it's um, fine this is part of it you know yes so um I'd, I'd love you to just you know answer um the last the question that i did ask you because it'll just have it like as right. a continuation so you know talking about you know your dad being a gospel artist and you doing the kind of music that you're doing you know um tell us about mm. it yes so so my dad is a musician you know he plays guitar he plays piano organ for church and that kind of stuff and church okay. groups and he's really supportive, you know, he's, he's not a man that's going to say, shouldn't do this because, you know, it's not in church and whatever, whatever, I'm a, you know, he's an adult and he knows that I love music. So he's been very supportive of just me doing whatever makes me happy and whatever is in my heart to, to say to people, to sing to people. Mm -hmm. So I've been lucky so far to have yeah. that in my family, supportive mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. And you know, talking about arts and uh, some of the talents that you have, you're also a dancer, you're also an actress. Has it always been, you know, <laughs> art and, you know, entertainment for you? Or it's, um, is it something that you knew that you, you always wanted to do when you were younger? Or it's growing up with, you know, a uh, dad who's a musician that caught your, you know, attention yeah. and, you know, got you interested and, hey, I'd like to try this out. How, <laughs> like, how is it, you know, growing up? <laughs> Well, first of first thing, mm -hmm. I can tell you that my father being a musician only, it was just like a regular job to me. You know, mm -hmm. people say, oh, my mom is a teacher and my whatever is a banker. I just looked at it as another job. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, he's a musician. So there was nothing too special about it or anything. But growing up, I, I had a dream of being on Disney Channel. Oh, my God. I used to watch that every day. And, mm -hmm. Just not even every day can never have cable. But like when I got cable in my teenage years, I was like, yo, it's too late for me to be on Disney Channel. This looks fun. Mm -hmm. They're dancing in hallways and they're singing and breaking out into high school musical and whatever. And that's kind of what I, I thought I wanted to do. But then outside of that, I used to just do these things for fun. Mm -hmm. You know, singing places and doing one and two short films and, and, and dancing, doing theater. That was just fun. Mm -hmm. well, I wasn't even thinking career. I was just enjoying the passion of art. Yeah. And hence, here we are. Like, how did you end up meeting Protégé? <laughs> you know, you're signed on his label and, you know, you're doing great. Yes. Your first song came out in 2018 for you. Like, yes. how, how did you meet up? Yeah. Like, how did you, how did you just get into his radar? 
what happened? Boy, well, first I haven't been signed since 2018. Mm -hmm. I got signed in 2020. So mm -hmm. between 2018 and 2019, it was just me and this producer named Jelly, we just oh. linked up and did uh -huh. songs. Right. So I knew nobody in the industry except him, mm -hmm. <laughs> pretty much. And mm -hmm. we were just doing songs. So we did a song called For You together, and then we did a song which you were referencing called Fresh and Clean. Mm -hmm. And I think that song kind of got on Biggie's radar. Oh. And um, yeah, so through through different people, he kind of reached out and we had different interactions with people who he was close with, people who he was working with, and then we kind of just met. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it, it just went from there organically, just working on Rock and Groove, which is a, um, a, a rhythm that myself, Lila said, and Naomi did together. And just from that, the work just kept happening. And at some point in 2020, mm -hmm. yeah, we just we made it legit. Yeah. You know, for most people, 2020 was that year because of COVID-19. Everything stopped. But for you, it was one of your best years because you got signed. But how has COVID affected you and, you know, maybe your friends, your career as a person? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's honestly a mixed bag, you know, because mm -hmm. I've had one of my best years so far in 2020, mm -hmm. music wise. Yeah. You know what I mean? Being with RCA and Indie Nation Collective and just being able to record music. But it, still, there, there, are many, there are many aspects that were hard. I lost two family members to COVID, like in the space of a few weeks, you know, a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So it's been hard, and and then I'm sure a lot of other people have lost family members, loved ones, friends. You can't hug up, you can't hug up my mother right now. You can't visit her too tough. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's ten people alone can be in a space here in Jamaica. So show now keep in the way that shows have been keeping. So a lot of people in entertainment, not just me, is feeling it right now. And, it's just these virtual spaces where we can interact with people and talk with people and get mm. the, you know, just get the message out, get our music out. So I just want to go do, and that's just the, that's just what it is right now with COVID. Mm -hmm. you know, just I have to work with it. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, I feel like COVID also gave you time, you know, to work on your debut EP that you're about to just yes. drop on March 5th, the golden hour. Tell us about March it. What's 5. the inspiration, you know, behind um, this particular EP? What, what are your thoughts? What was the writing like? What, what inspired you to call it even the golden hour? Okay, so what was my inspiration for mm -hmm. this project? I can't even say what is on the top of my head right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say it. Uh -huh. But let's just say mm -hmm. um, definitely relationships was a big one. Mm -hmm. Relationships was a big one. And just also my journey and, and um, just some of the things I've been through. You know, somebody stressed them when we did I go through anxiety. There's a song in it called Breathe that is is really about a night when I was really anxious mm -hmm. and I did not know what to do, so I just took on my guitar and started yeah. singing. They have some love song on there that they're self-explanatory. Like once once you hear them, you just get no see a man shut up. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Relationships and all of that. So mm -hmm. how many songs are going to be in the EP? Seven. Seven solos singles or do you have you know do you have a few collabs here and there or it's just purely there are definitely jazz. a few collabs that i have one of which you've already heard mm -hmm. which is with the, the remix with govi mm -hmm. but there's another there's another um collaboration that i'm really excited about oh freeze again ah, no? sorry <laughs> we are back <laughs> i'm back yes you're back you're back yeah just um, okay. start over from what she was saying before you froze. Uh huh. A collaboration with someone? Yes. Uh -huh. I'm really excited about it. It's one of my favorite songs on, mm -hmm. the, on the project. Mm -hmm. We're not even going to tell you who or what. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We shall be waiting to hear to hear about it. But tell us about your new song. Um, you just dropped it, you know, Good Over Evil. What is happening? Oh, like, you yeah. know. Is it because, you know, of the situation in the world or it's something personal? Like, you know, what what was it that led you to write, you know, that song, that particular song, Good Over Evil? 
honestly, it's just um, it's just a realization after doing a lot of a lot of self work and a lot of introspection and going through a lot of different situations where I'm I'm the type of person where me really beat up on myself a lot for for things that don't necessarily go the best way or if there are any situations where you know something bad happened, tension or whatever it is with interpersonal relationships. And just going through some of those things and also just seeing what is in the world right now and how some people operate is really just so the same or say a good over evil. Like that is it. There's no way I can be an artist and go in a studio and record seven bad songs mm-hmm. and my heart is not clean and I may live an impure life and you know, feel comfortable as an artist. I don't think there's any way to get good if you don't do good. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. if your intentions in your daily living is not right and it's not is not the best, then that's gonna reflect, you know, in other in your output and when you get out of life. So mm-hmm. that's really just the message in the song to always speak life in everything where I do and to just believe in your journey and to just walk and trust the process and just live good. Mm-hmm. Good over evil every time. Enough evil about so I could counteract it with mm-hmm. good. Well, so let's get back to your EP. It's dropping next week. So where, where is it going to be dropping? You know, where can guys just, you know, go and wait for it to drop and, you know, uh, you know, download or buy or whatever mm-hmm. they need to do to get your EP. How, how can guys go about it? Where should they wait for it? Where are you going to be launching it? Well, yeah. mm-hmm. well mm-hmm. on my Instagram and Facebook and social media, there's a pre-save link. Mm-hmm. There's a pre-save link to the, to the project. So from now, you can just go in and click it and, and sign up and save. It's very simple. No long work or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Jazelis, J-A-Z-E-L-I-S-E, everywhere. Just look for that on social media. You can see the links to to download. But I definitely want to have a little vibe to, mm-hmm. you know, for the release night. Mm-hmm. And yeah, but it's everywhere. Spotify, it's going to be on Tidal, Apple, YouTube, everywhere. Mm-hmm. Amazing. And do you mind just singing for us, you know, fresh and clean? Like, fresh can you? <laughs> yes. Everybody loves that song. I'm like, you know, just give us, you know, something. Yes. Drop us something. No, I too much for you to walk with my guitar. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you're, I can't get a little piece. Not in a rag, not in a rag. Music, you know. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Ready? You're ready. Fresh and clean. Fresh and clean. Mm-hmm. Fresh and clean, fresh and clean. See moon step on the scene. Oh, oh, I'm so blessed and free. I'm a rap when I step on the scene. I'm so fresh and clean. Yes! Thank you so much, <laughs> Jazz. It's been real. I've had fun, you know, hanging out with you here for a bit. When you come to Kenya, be sure to stop by our studios. You know, we'll be waiting for, we'll be looking for you if we hear you've landed. But hey, hey you know. Uh, you first, may I come to? Aha. Uh-huh. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. We've come to the end of the interview. But hey, guys, you know where you can get our music? Um, of course, uh, it will be played over here by DJ Michael B. So, you know, you get to have fun, listen to the music go to the link and download some music you know we just doing it all but anyway let's get back to the music and of course jazz elise was with us today